Pink Pepper is a superhero, in my opinion. And today we're going to carefully weave through the research and the chemistry in the most compliant way I know how, okay? So Pink Pepper um, is going to give us the greatest benefit as we use it internally, from the throat to the urogenital area. We want to make sure that we're affecting that gastrointestinal system. Make sure we're affecting the liver, that we're going through that cardiovascular, the vascular system to get it through our bloodstream and to every cell of our body, right? Let's understand why using this one internally is going to give us the greatest support. Whereas black pepper is going to give us some amazing benefit as we use it topically, right? Great to support the, the um, circulatory system in the body. And of course, has some great all body support as well. But pink pepper is pretty special. So first, as we look at the chemistry of pink pepper, I want you to look at the chemical formulations of three, these three compounds. So we have here limonene, which is commonly found in our citrus oils, right? We also have alpha philandrine. That's a new one probably for many of you. We also have alpha pinene. Alpha pinene is one of the main compounds that we find in frankincense. They're all existing in pink pepper. Even though alpha pinene is at a small percentage, about 3%, mostly want to focus on alpha philandrine. Now, as you look at these chemical formulas, these chemical structures, you notice that they look almost identical, don't they? There's a variance in the electrons and the, and the hydro, uh, hydrocarbon atoms, but other than that, they look pretty, pretty similar. However, they couldn't be more different in the way they interact with our body the pathways in which they work, the cells in which they activate couldn't be more different. And you're going to hear more about that this afternoon as we have Dr. Talbot present from Roseman University. His research is going to boggle your mind and we are so excited for you to learn from him. So as we look at oils with um, alpha philandrine, we have blue tansy that has about 5.7%. But our pink pepper has 15 to 30% alpha philandrine. So I understand why this is so significant. Let's look at the nature of the cell, right? So we look at cell mitosis and the division of the, our cells, it gives life, right? And it's so important that this happens properly, that we protect those cells. those cells to make sure that they're safe, they're not damaged by oxidation and other things, that there's, there's no unhealthy things going on so that when they're divided, it doesn't continue to populate maybe mutations and other things over and over again. So as we look at the research behind alpha philandrine, it's amazing in the way it has been shown scientifically to protect and nurture those cells and also cause those cells that aren't healthy to go through cell death, apoptosis, when they're supposed to, instead of continuing to, to divide and reproduce themselves, right? How was that for compliant language, right? Do I get an A? We also see through the research with alpha philandrine that it activates those killer cells, right? So that when we're not feeling so well, right, those natural killer cells are gonna go out and boost up the body's immune system. It's also gonna be a great companion product with aroma touch, right? When we have neuropathic discomfort, right? Especially in those lower extremities of the body. Add that in with a little aroma touch, with some heat and massage, and you receive some amazing benefits. When we look at the whole of pink pepper, you can see how many different systems of the body that it supports because of its complex and beautiful chemistry. Now, 
because of the way that it is protective to the cells. It's going to be an amazing companion product to DDR Prime. Right? For those of you who have been with us in past conventions, how many of you have been with us at conventions before? Raise your hand. Yeah. How many of you are here, and I want to hear really loud, how many of you are here for the very first time? Well, I'll just refresh you on some things that have been talked about on this stage. We had Utah State University speak about research that they have conducted on the essential oils included in the DDR Prime blend and the way that it supports our cells and encourages apoptosis to occur when it's supposed to occur. So an amazing companion product to go along with pink pepper. But the story of pink pepper does not end there. In order to have enough supply, we needed two sources. So not only 